I want to pollinate your flowers. Mm. Ah. Woo! Okay, then. Ah. <laughs> Let's party! So the last few videos have been about you asking me questions. How about I ask you one? Oh, well, shoot! What do you think of me? <laughs> Just I kidding. I love you! Just kidding. No, I was wondering, who is your favorite drag queen? Oh. Not including yourself. <laughs> Whatever. I would not answer myself. I would say, I think if anybody knows me and follows any of my interviews, it would be Miss Richfield 1981. I absolutely love her. I love that she inspired me to do drag. Uh, I would say equally as much as Aggie Dune and Darian Lake and Ambrosia Salad and Naomi Kane of Rochester, New York, Pandora Box. But Miss Richfield was something special because she had a whole story. And she went out there and she told her story and she had a message and she was funny and there was a character there, and that's what I related to with theater. And she kind of inspired you to develop your backstory, right? Exactly. You know, I sometimes think of myself as, you know, her cousin. You know, the, maybe the prettier one. Oh, <laughs> stop it, gosh. Anyway, who's your favorite drag queen? Oh, well, there's so many. There's so many good ones. Uh-huh. Um, but I think one of my favorites has to be Bianca Del Rio. Really? Yeah, because she hired you for a two-week gig. I know! Well, she no, but she's also really funny. She's not only really funny, she's genuinely nice, and she's that motherly type drag queen where she wants to take care of other people, make sure they're doing well, and she will, if she likes you, she will read you the house down and totally, you know, tear your shoes. Yeah, and she's really quick on her feet. I love yeah. that. And, and when she's on her feet, because usually she's passed out <laughs> drunk or pills. Anyway, uh, you, do you have any other favorite drag queens? Yeah, cool. yeah, some local favorites are Darian Lake, who's local to us. Uh huh. Well, she's uh, just a local. I mean, she's an international uh, <laughs> famous drag queen. Let me do that. Do that, again. do that again. Uh, that no, I think you should put that on there. She's a local. I think she'll love to hear that she's a local queen. And by the way, do I rank anywhere on any of your favorites? I mean, eh, I know. You know, no, you you're you're up there. Mhm. Mm yeah. Why? You're the only drag queen I would sleep with. <laughs> you Mr. and Mrs. Davis have never had sex. <laughs> Question, not that I judge that, but it's just not our thing. Question, Darian Lake, why is she one of your favorites? Um, you know, I I think after you get to know her, you find out uh she's She's actually very sweet underneath that kind of snark. Yeah. And uh, and really funny. And her and I love to look at Reddit and talk about, you know, different Reddit things. You know, people falling down and getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you both do have a very similar sense of humor. You're pretty shady yourself there, Mr. Davis. So I think uh, you gravitating to the shady elephant is no surprise. Uh -huh. It's interesting being my husband. I oftentimes... You know, if you're filming me or if you're in the audience and I feel as though the, you're not entertained, I start to get anxious. But when you really do laugh, it makes me feel really good because you kind of, first of all, you know all my jokes and my shtick. But that makes... <laughs> <laughs> He's, I tell you, he's shady. Well, I mean, you know, after 17 years, right? I've heard them all. But every once in a while, you come up with a really good one. You know, when it I, gets me. When I first started doing drag, though, I think I gravitated to the storytellers, the Varla Jean Mermans that we enjoy, obviously Coco Peru, Dixie Longgate. I mean, she's got the whole Tupperware thing down pat. I mean, it's... And again, oh. there's a message of positivity, you know, sprinkled throughout the show, which I enjoy. Dina Martina. Oh, God. Oh, my yeah. gosh. A hoot! Yeah, I'm going to holler. Yeah. I mean, and the list goes on. And honestly, it's those cabaret artists that I have always enjoyed. And I I wouldn't, obviously, Bianca has sold out Carnegie Hall and, and Wembley. First drag queen to do it. Yeah. But, I mean, so she's, I don't think of her as a cabaret artist in that respect, but she really is. I mean, she has that sort of personal kind of relationship with the audience. And I'll tell you, and speaking of cabaret artists, she's not a drag queen, but I have learned such a great suggestion from Marilyn May, who is just a cabaret queen of her own. Look her up. Google her. She says that when you are in those scenarios, 
you are not telling a story to the entire audience. You find one person and you make eye contact and tell them the story or sing them the song and everybody else wants in. I can see that'll work. You're making eye contact with that camera? Yeah, with the audience. Mm -hmm. Do you have an OnlyFans now? Is that what this is? <laughs> well, I'd never say. Hey, we're not judging. You, you gotta make a dollar. Make your coins there, Mr. Davis. A lot of people do message that think he's a hunky fella.